Hi everybody. I'm going to do a clock tonight. Um, this is the bottom layer of the three tier cake one. I'm going to do it mainly white and then I'm going to drizzle some black, some gold. Once that's either completely cured or tacky, depends probably, well look at the time, probably tomorrow so it'll be cured. I'm going to add some uh, butterflies. Don't know, I've got two sheets here, don't know which ones I'm going to add. I've also got um, these ones with the little little butterflies, uh, some more and some more little ones. Um, also I've got oh, flowers, I was going to add some flowers as well which is flowers I've bought off the internet and flowers I've actually dried myself. So that will be the second part of it in the morning when it's all cured up. But tonight we're just going to do this little bit. So I need three pots and I can't count because I've only got two. So we've got three pots. We're going to have one stick, two stick and three stick. Okay, I've mixed up my resin. My resin at the moment is this German one. Don't know how to pronounce it. Anyone who's German will, obviously. Um, it's a two to one ratio. Well, uh, it, it says 100 grams to 47 to 50 grams. So it's like a two to one. Um, I always put sort of like the 50 in just to make sure so I've got my resin made up so I want mostly white so we put the white in this one and then I'm going to put a bit of gold I'm not going to be using lots and lots and a bit of black okay and while I'm at it I done my little candle holder thing so I'm just going to check, but just plain in. Or shall I actually just wait till I've got cut? Nah, let's put some plain in. So indecisive I am. So that's that bit. Basically filled up, ready to cure. It's not quite filled up. This is a, I must admit, a very watery resin. Got some left there. Right, so white. I'm just gonna pour it in. And mix it up. seems to take forever with these little stir sticks but I don't mind I know they're all done then that noise you can hear in the background is my air purifier I do apologize for the sound of it when I do mix my resin up I do wear a mask it's only um, because I'm talking to you that I'm not wearing it but you should always wear your mask because, um, oh, excuse me, I've got itch. Um, resin does give off fumes when it's uh, curing. Probably haven't got it. Oh, look, I've got bleeding powder all over me thing. I didn't even realise. But good job it's going white, isn't it? Rub it in. Bit of extra. <laughs> you watch, you'll probably be able to see that bit. Okay. So I'm going to wrap, stick that in. Yeah, I think I'm going to need more. Right. Yeah. So 
give it a swirl so it goes against all the edges before it overflows it's very runny this one but once it starts going off it gets quite thick quite quick Oh no, missed a bit over in that corner. That's it. Right, now it should level out. I think I might have to put a little bit more in. And the only problem with doing this is it's a different amount of powder going to a different amount of um, resin and quite often I can see the difference okay, so mix this in I won't be doing as many videos as what I've been doing because I work silly hours now so I'm not in a lot of the time so I can do them. Okay. Hmm. For some reason it's wanting to travel Maybe not. Okay. So that's the white. We'll do a little bit of gold. These are still all the ones, the cheapy micas that I just bought little sets of when I first started off of Amazon. See how this works. Oh, if it's going to work. Ah, right, okay. Do it this way then. Then a little bit of black.
that in there, that's got drip drops. So she says, and it drip drops again. Right. Now I'm going to get my uh, thingy tool. Oops, uh, will it reach from that one? What was that one? What was that one? doesn't reach very well. They have it up high. see what that looks like tomorrow. don't like messing around too much. I'm going to have to make sure something's in the middle for the simple fact that the mechanisms are black. So when you put the clock bit there you'll be able to see it. So the only other thing I can think of is once it's done maybe paint the back black. Put a bit of a black, black background to it. Um, my little stick. Yeah, my little stick okay, so yet again, I don't know if they're bubbles. They might be bubbles. Not sure. That one's not. That one's definitely a hair. Okay, so my little lighter, if I can with that on, if not I'll have to turn it off for a minute. It won't matter too much if there's a few bubbles in it because once you put the I'm putting the stickers on tomorrow, the um, bubbles and if there's bits of uh, rubbish in there will disappear. One bit I don't like is that's got no. No sort of like darkish bit. Don't me. around too much with it yep so that one will stay there until tomorrow and then we will sort it out just moving a few bits and pieces so I've got a little bit of resin left so 
so I shall find another another little mould. Don't know what though. Um right. Well I shall see you. Don't like that bit there. Right, I shall see you tomorrow when this is dried. Bye. If I can Hello everybody. Right, this is all dry. I've put an extra coat on top. Some I've put a little bit of glitter on as well. I don't know if you can see it glitter. Let's start again. I don't know if you can see the glitter. For some reason, it's sort of like disappeared in that one little spot, but that'll be fine because that's where the hands and that's going to go. So let's unmold it. I probably have to um, what you call uh, drill out the hole a little bit to get the mechanism mechanism in and. Oh, that needs a bit of a chop off as well. Uh, okay, so all I do, because it is literally that bit will pick off, is this bit here. Doesn't look like it's gone there. Oh, there you go. And just smooth it off. That's it. This tool is amazing. I love it. Wouldn't be without it. Right, okay, so now I've got to take from that middle, so just spin it, and keep doing it until I can get the mechanism. In the air. You could do this with your Dremel and if you're going to use your Dremel please put a mask on you don't want to breathe in resin okay so that's the back nothing to write home about okay so that's my that's there okay so my thinking is that's 12 o'clock, that's 6 o'clock, so and so. So it's the small hand that goes on first. Put the small hand on and push it on. Then it's the big hand. Oh, no, I tell a lie. I do tell lies sometimes because you got to put that on first and then the washer. I think that's correct anyway. The washer might have had to go underneath because I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> then it's the little hand, then it's the big hand, and then it's the second hand. So, and then put the battery in, and it goes that way. And 
it's not working. Why are you not working? Battery not good enough? Battery ran the wrong way. Battery ran the wrong way. God. There you go, battery ran the right way. So if that was 12 o'clock-ish, there you go. A working clock. And it's a silent mechanism, so you don't hear tick, 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 tick. But yeah, quite happy with that. Let's see if it goes all the way around. Which it does. There you go. A working clock. All I've got to do now is work out how that one's going to go on the wall because it hasn't got a hang thing for some reason. Obviously, it's not done up tight enough. But hopefully, you like it. I think I might have to put one little coat over the top because it hasn't quite gone to the edges and the edges are a bit, a little bit lumpy there where it's missed. That's it. That's all that needs to be done is a little tiny top coat. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.